안녕하세요 여러분! So in the last episode, we've talked about 능것 particle and how to use it with verbs and adjectives and what does it do to a regular sentence. I also promised you guys in this episode to talk about other ways you can use 능것 in addition with different grammatical principles that will make sentences mean different things. So that is what we are doing today. So for those of you who have seen the previous episode, a sentence like 나는 밥을 먹을 것이다 will sound pretty familiar and you would hopefully understand generally what it means which is I will eat food or I will eat rice. Just as a quick recap, we're using the 능것 principle here and we're using it in a future tense so that's why we have the 을, 먹을, 것이다, 이다 is just a to be verb. If we take away the 이다, the sentence ends up being 나는 밥을 먹을 것 and that generally means I am the thing that eats rice. What if we add at the end of the sentence. The sentence would look like 나는 밥을 먹을 것 같아요 which will then have a meaning of I think I will eat rice or it seems like I will eat rice. And that is what we're going to be discussing and really dissecting in today's episode. So get ready. The verb 같다 on its own has a meaning of to be similar or be the same. For example, 저 노래방은 이 노래방과 같아요. This norebang is similar to that one. But when we add gatta to a clause that has been modified by ngot, we end up with a sentence that transforms into an assumption or a thought. We've been looking at the future tense, so let's continue looking at the future tense for now. Here's an example. 저는 친구들이랑 내일 낚시를 할것 같아요. I think I will go fishing with my friends tomorrow. 우리 어머니는 저것을 싫어할 것 같아요. I think my mom is not going to like that thing. In these two sentences, the subject or the topic of the sentence is a person. But that doesn't always have to be the case. It can be a thing, an object, anything. 내일 비가 올것 같아요. I think it's going to rain tomorrow. Rain is what you're talking about in the sentence, so it doesn't have to be a person or yourself. Like, 이 책이 재미있을 것 같아요. I think this book is going to be interesting. So here are a couple of things that I want you guys to remember. First, the topic of the sentence can be anything. A person, a thing, an object, anything. Second of all, it can be used with verbs and adjectives. So we can add 을 것 같아요 to anything, verbs or adjectives, like 할것 같아요 or 재미있을 것 같아요. And third thing, it can be used to describe future, past, present, any tense. You can change the conjugation of the verb or the adjective with that little particle before got to indicate the tense. So we've already gone over future tense, you just add 을. So let's think 는 것 for now. In present tense from the last video, we know that we just add 는. Well, in this case, that's true, but it only works with verbs. For example, 엄마는 기다리고 있는 것 같아요. I think my mom is waiting for me. 기다리고 있는, 기다리고 있다, to be waiting at this moment, yeah? So we add nun and it's pretty straightforward. When it comes to adjectives though, in present tense, we don't add nun, unfortunately. Instead, we add nian or un. So, 친구가 아픈 것 같아요. I think my friend is hurt right now. Because 아프다 is an adjective and it describes a noun, 친구. Then we have to add nian or un, depending on what the adjective ends on. So another example can be 그 음식은 건강에 나쁜 것 같아요. I think this food is bad for your health, for my health, or this food is unhealthy. 나쁜, 나쁘다 means bad, and it's a descriptive verb or an adjective, so because it describes a noun, we gotta use the 니은 or 은 to modify and be able to use it with 것 같다. Please, please, please keep in mind the fact that 이다, the verb to be, actually in this case behaves like an adjective, so we gotta add 니은 to it and turn it into 인, 인 것 같아요. So you can say something like 식사가 한식인 것 같아요. I think this food is Korean food. Whew, now moving on to past tense, which should be now much simpler because in past tense, anything, verbs or adjectives, we just add the 니은 or 은 to. So we end up with something like 부장님이 그 일을 이미 다한것 같아요. The boss has already done all the work or the boss already did all the work. With all of this future, present, past tense mess, I just want to point out something really important for you guys that you must keep in mind. All of these things that you say, which are your opinion and your thoughts, they must have a contextual clue. Whether from a conversation that you've been having right now with someone 
or a situation that you've observed or an action that you yourself did or someone else did and that made you think of something and that made you think to say this sentence. This is also what's going to keep you from confusing adjectives in present tense and adjectives in past tense, for example. You will know what the conversation is talking about or what the action, whether the action has just taken place or it took place in the past or whether you felt a certain way in the past or now. You know, context is the most important thing with this grammatical principle. Just like pretty much with everything in Korean language, you always gotta look out for contextual clues, okay? I will definitely give a lot more example in the blog post, so make sure to check that out. Please let me know if you find it useful, if it's really helping your learning, because I spent quite a lot of time writing it, so yeah. Just give me your thoughts on it in the comment section. And actually tell me if you're able to comment on my blog posts, because I feel like you can't. And I'm trying to figure out how to make that happen, so please bear with me and please let me know how it looks on your end, okay? I hope this video was helpful and wasn't too confusing. Please let me know if you have any questions. Native Korean speakers and tutors, please let me know if I made any mistakes or explained something incorrectly because this is quite a difficult concept and it did take me some time to grasp, so I really hope that I am on right track with this. With that said, I hope you all have a wonderful upcoming weekend and I will see you all next week. Bye! Annyeong!